This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, this is a question a lot of people are asking about that. Uh, can we override a static method? So very straightforward answer is no. We cannot override static method, but we can overload static method. And this is the confusion that uh, people are having. And this is a very famous, important interview question also in Java. People might ask you, what is the reason behind that? Can we override a static method? No, we cannot. Can we overload a static method? Yes, we can do that. And what is the difference? Can you write a code for that? OK, so I thought of creating this video on this. So let's start. So I'll do one thing. This is my uh, SRC. I'll do one thing. I'll create a package over here. And uh, let's see my package name is. Uh, um, okay, the package name is object oriented programming, something like this. And under this particular package, I'll do one thing. First, I'll create a car class. Okay, a simple car class as a parent class I'm going to create. And I'm not defining any main method over here. This will be my very neat and clean class inside this car class. See it carefully. I'm just having one method public void start method, right? And simple system dot order print and I'm simple writing car start. I'm gonna have one more method. Let's see public void stop method. And in this is stop method, I'm simply writing car stop method. Okay. And I'm gonna have one more method. Let's see public void refuel method because in every car we should have a refueling system and let's see i'm simple writing refuel method like this okay very simple simple car class i have created now what i'm going to do i'm going to create another class that is the bmw class bmw is the child of car class so i'll be using extends keyword so that i can use the concept of parent and child relationship so simple bmw Blue extending car it means BMW is the subclass and car is the superclass. Simple. Okay. Now I'll do one thing. I'll try to overwrite start method over here. Of course, I can do that. Yes, because this is start method is having the same signature. Public void start. I'm not talking about any static as of now. Simple. This is start method. Same method name. Zero parameter. Same method name. Zero parameter. So this method is called overridden method guys. I'm simple writing BMW start method and let's see to prove it you can directly write overwrite annotation over here as well and it will allow you to do that fine okay now I'll do one thing that I'll create one main method inside a separate class I'll create a car test car okay select the main method and click on finish in this particular test car, can I create the object of BMW? Of course, I can create it. So simple, I'll write BMW B is equal to new BMW, right? And then with the help of B dot, can I call the start method? So which method will be called? So if you run it and if you see the output, you will see straightforward BMW start method. It means the overridden method will be called on this. It will Although BMW is a child of car, BMW, okay, having the properties of start, stop, and refuel. But the problem here is in BMW, they say that, okay, no boss, I don't like your uh, car class start method, which is very old fashioned. BMW is a very good brand in the market. They say that, okay, hey, we will have some our own cool start, like direct, uh, you know, automatic start and uh, without key start and simple button start something like this we will write our own logic over here right so they have this is called overriding if you see practically bmw is going to override they are not going to use the boring car class start method bmw is going to use their own new fashion start method over here so this is called overriding simple and if you try to call with the help of bmw class object reference obviously the preference will be given to b dot start method but with this b i can access stop method because the stop method bmw says that okay okay boss i can take it a stop method from car class so no need to overwrite and b dot refueling also it's a very common method in every car so bmw says that okay 
this start method we will overwrite and this stop method and the refuel method we will take it from the car class and then if you run it you see that okay bmw start method is coming from bmw class and stop and refuel they both are coming from car class right okay so this is a basic overriding we have uh, seen and then the same method is getting okay we have overridden inside the child class right so this is also called what dynamic polymorphism polymorphism means many forms it means we have same method in parent class same method in child class with same number of parameters or same types of parameters is called method overriding and dynamic polymorphism now what i'll do i'll make this public void start method i'll make it static now see it carefully the moment i write static immediately this line will give you error at line number six it's saying that remove at the red override annotation the method start of bmw must override or implement a super type method it means this override is not applicable it means i cannot override this method it's still giving the same error because it's saying that okay public void start method i cannot override okay so it's saying that the instance method cannot override instance method means the static method cannot override okay guys so i cannot override this particular start method because this is static in nature so i cannot override this start method in bmw okay so this is a confusion most of the people were having and we proved it that okay this is start method immediately saying that okay either you remove the static modifier okay so this is the first confusion is resolved that yes i cannot override any static method what if in bmw also i'll define the same static now the error is gone and most of the people they get this confusion they're okay what uh, what the hell is happening here now this is overriding having the same method name and same number of parameter in bmw also same method name and same number of parameter okay is this overriding let's see so i'll try to write at the rate override annotation over here and the moment you write again it will give you error because at the rate override denotes means this method is overridden method so this is the first proof we have seen that okay no again it's saying that the method of type bmw must override or implement a super type method okay it means i cannot override any static method so this at the rate override is not applicable so simple remove it okay so first of all we have seen static method cannot be overridden but the confusion here is in car class we have static void start in bmw also we have static void start and then if you try to call with the help of b dot start first of all it will give you a warning because static methods will be stored at the common memory allocation and if you try to access with the help of object reference it will give you warning because a static method will never be stored inside the object so what will happen guys the moment you create the object of bmw right this object will be created over here right and the start method this is start method will be created inside the bmw object which is referred by mr b right so the moment you try to access b dot start it will be called but this start method will be stored inside the object only when it is not static but right now what exactly we have done we have created a start method as a static in nature so this will not be stored over here this will be stored somewhere at the common memory allocation inside the memory so if you see this is a java memory in this particular java memory this start method will be stored over here so that's why you are getting this warning b dot start you are trying to access like this which is not this start method is not part of the object the start method is available at somewhere inside the memory at the common location and you are trying to access b dot start that's why you are getting a warning not the error right so what is the best way to call the static method either you call by class name right instead of object name so that's why you are getting the error and if you sorry warning the static method is start from the type bmw should be accessed in a static way okay but what is happening here b dot start i'm simple calling b dot stop and b dot refuel and if you see i'm getting b dot start method okay guys so it will call only and only b dot 
start method. It means never with the help of B, I can access the stop method and refuel method, but I can never access, okay, start method of car class with the help of B and W reference, right? If somebody is saying that, okay, hey, if you want to access car class start method with BMW, but BMW start method is a static in nature, car class start method is also static in nature, right? So I can never access this particular method with the help of BMW because this is car specific static method I can never access. So this is not a good practice, okay, to write it like this. And this concept is called, it means super class start method is hidden. This is called method hiding concept. Okay, remember this thing people might ask you at a time of interview, what do you mean by method hiding? So it won't be overridden in exact sense. This is called method overriding. Okay, so this is called method overriding. Sorry, method hiding, not overriding, sorry. Okay guys, it means this car class start method got hidden. So this is called method hiding. Got it? So I hope this is clear now. So never, never answer is very straightforward. I cannot overwrite a static method. Can I overload a static method? Now I'm talking about overloading. So of course you can do that. The same static method, let's see, I'm trying to create over here with let's see, integer A with string price like this. So this method is called now overloaded. Having the same method name, start, 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 Static, 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 that is also fine. Zero parameter, one parameter, one string parameter. So this is called method overloading. So static method can be overloaded, but a static method cannot be overridden. Okay guys, remember this thing, it's very important, right? Same thing, main method is what? Static in nature. Can I overload a main method? Yes, I can do that because main method is a static. I can overload. Okay, so if you try to exceed, I'm trying to overload main method now. Public void, public static void. Sorry. Main, and let's say I'm passing integer A. Okay, and uh, simple this without any error, right? So I can overload this main method like this. I can write the same main method with a different parameters now integer a comma integer b so main method is overloaded but jvm will see this particular signature is important for jvm jvm will see that okay public static void main with one string array parameter is there or not right so if you try to access immediately jvm jvm will come inside this method over here so remember these small small things guys if you try to run it see i'm getting this these two methods won't be okay. We are not able to call because we, okay, we are not calling them. Simple method we have declared and we are not calling them. That's it. Okay, so this is a, a offbeat topic now. Can we overload main method? Yes, of course we can do that, but overriding is not possible for a static methods, guys. Remember this thing. Okay, so that's the small thing I really wanted to cover. I hope you got it and we probed it also. And people might ask you at a time of interview, what is method hiding? It means if you try to, okay, if you have the same static method in parent class and the same static method in child class, and if you try to access with BMW B dot start, it means BMW start method will be called always. Now I cannot inherit car class start method, never. Because the, this car class start method got hidden. This is called method hiding in Java, right? Okay, guys, so this is all about simple, okay, about a static and non-static. It's a very simple concept. So please try it by your own, practice it, and then this is a very good interview question in Java for object-oriented programming point of view, okay? So that's all for today, guys. That's all for this particular session. Thank you so much for joining and keep watching Naveen Automation Labs. Thank you, bye-bye.